the beginning of this video, you saw Mary's silhouette flying off. This was accomplished by using a gobo in the spotlight. We couldn't find one to purchase, so we had to make our own with a crick cut out of a pop can. We also use this at the end of the musical when Mary flies away. The next effect occurs when Mr. Bank tears up the letter and throws it into the fireplace. We just used existing pieces of paper on a black thread and had a stagehand move them. For Mary's introduction, I wanted it sudden and surprising but without any light effects. So we just had her come in through the fireplace set piece. The other actors blocked the audience's view. Good morning! Yes? The next effect was unique to our musical. Our costume designer asked if we could make Mary slide up the stairs. She had never seen this in a production, but said it was in the book that way. So we obliged with a seat attached to a block and tackle. Uh, everything was painted black or covered in black curtain and uh, displayed against a black stage curtain. Uh, after its use, the carriage part of it was removed from the stairs. We used the same fireplace in both the parlor and the nursery and just dressed it differently. The magic carpet bag was simple enough. The dresser, which was attached to the flat, had a trap door in it. The carpet bag had a false bottom. A stagehand would hand her the items through a hole in the flat. Mary would attach the hat rack and the plant in particular to the flat itself so we didn't have to worry about ever moving them again. The last thing we had Mary pull out of her bag was a blanket that she then used to make a bed appear. For the park scene, the whale statue there on the left with Neelius was done with paper mache over a blow up pool toy by one of our artists. The park is supposed to transform in some way and there's different ways to do it. We did the cheapest way, which was to just use the lights. Uh, we kept them dim at first, and then we threw in a bunch of bright colors before washing the stage in full light. And then comes a very fun scene where Roberts and I destroys the kitchen. We'll go through every effect here. The stove was held shut with a magnet latch, and Roberts and I just threw it open. Inside, though, is a fan with streamers on it and some red light bulbs to give it that fiery look. And when Mary fixed it, uh, all we did was pull the door shut with a string from behind. The china cabinet was one of the funner effects. The actor initiated the destruction by pulling on a latch that then lets the shelves fall. The fixing was done from behind the flat with fish line connected to the shelves and plates. Incidentally, our kitchen flat was behind our parlor flat, so all this was hidden with a curtain. Here's what it looked like from this side. Shelf latch plates. The table is actually hinged in the middle. Shorter legs are added to the center so that it could be pushed down hard. When it's pushed down, a latch then keeps the table broken. Once unlatched, two screen door springs will then slowly bring the table back up. Here's what the whole sequence looks like all together. Cuts on supper, please! Sweet spot! Is this a new thing to its my goal? Before Mary leaves the kitchen, we had her ice the cake. Uh, this is an old magician's trick. We have a simple foam cake, but in the lid is a cardboard covering that looks like icing. It's put on the cake, uh, the release is triggered on the lid, and voila, we have an iced cake. Just a quick note here for the super cal scene. We used our stairs from the parlor to hold up a facade, and we also reused our kitchen table just with a new cloth on it.
Our rooftop flat was the flip side of the nursery. Mary is supposed to fly from the roof here and since we had no cables we had to fake it. We did this with a rolling 8 foot tower that blended into our background and was hid by the flat. The railings on it are positioned such that when Mary planted herself into the corner she was centered on the platform. On cue, the stagehands would push her off stage to a waiting ladder. Other stagehands would spot her like cheerleaders for safety. The kite scene, like the kitchen scene, had a lot of special effects going on. First was the primary kite that Michael flies. We ran a fish line to a catwalk above the auditorium to make it fly. Other kites attached to fish line above the stage were also used in the scene. However, our special kite was then reeled in by a stage hand on the catwalk. We made sure it did not fly over any audience members for safety. Because we were not able to fly Mary, we decided to fly her umbrella instead. The kite was returned with the umbrella and Mary would suddenly appear from her vom to retrieve them. To pull this off, we ran a cable from the stage to the catwalk. We did not have to drill into the stage wall, we just used a long weighted lever essentially. A special umbrella was used that was rigged with two hooks, one to hang the umbrella with fish line and a carabiner from the cable and one for the kite. The umbrella was lowered down the cable with a second reel of fishing line that was attached to the carabiner. Once to the bottom, Mary would simply pull on it and break the fish line holding it to the carabiner and the cable. Miss Andrews' cage was simple enough. A half cage of PVC was made on a rolling platform. A stage hand would simply push the cage out and then pull it back in on cue. Traditionally, Bert climbs up the stage walls and then is flown during step and time. Of course, we could not do that, but we still wanted to show him off somehow. So, taking a nod from another show, we used half our staircase to elevate him above the stage for his tap solo. For our breaking vase, we wanted something consistent, so we used a pre-broke vase made from plastic pots for plants. The broken part was lightly held together with tape and turned away from the audience and would break away when dropped. An internal chamber filled with coins gave it some crashing sounds so we didn't have to use a sound effect. The star scene can be as complicated as you want. We decided to keep it simple and went with LED light curtains and a spotlighted moon against our night backdrop. The last effect of the show is of Bert pulling the flowers out of his painting. This simply was some plastic flowers wedged between a painted background and some painted plexiglass and then just pulled out. Well, goodbye then. Hopefully this helps with your production.